Yo, I am Eumonic. The BandLab app has two MIDI controllers built in. Technically, they're not MIDI controllers, they're instrument modes in the BandLab app. And also a few other features to help you when you're playing on an instrument track. Really, it's all about figuring out what works for you. I'm gonna show you how to use it so you can make more music. Here in the studio, I use a standard keyboard MIDI controller. I also use a grid MIDI controller. There's something liberating about having an instrument with a layout that changes your perspective. Also, in BandLab, when you switch to grid mode while playing an instrument, you get to see the names of the notes or the letters, which can be helpful when you're writing melodies or creating chord progressions, especially if you're unfamiliar with the basics of music theory. I'm starting a new project with an instrument track because that's where the two different instrument modes are and this fat 90s kit is pretty awesome so i'm going to start with that Improving my coordination aside, the grid layout puts the sounds in such a way that it changes your perspective on how the sounds are played. The grid layout really came onto the scene with drum machines and samplers, triggering sounds from a grid instead of a keyboard Whether you have experience playing an instrument or not, the grid layout is something to get used to. Now I'm gonna record a simple drum pattern and before I do that, I'm gonna turn on the metronome so I have something to record to, like a click to keep me on beat. And then also I'm gonna turn on input quantization, which is something that keeps the notes on grid if I play a little sloppy. Go ahead and turn on cycle mode and then adjust the length so I can have a loop to play to. Tapping the circle with the plus sign in it will create a new instrument track. And for this, I'm gonna find a melodic sound to play over these drums. Keyboards, airy keys. Heart keys. Sure, let's do that. By default, new instrument tracks will open in the standard keyboard layout where you have two octaves centered around a C major scale. Then with the octave selector up at the top, you can go up in octaves and down in octaves. The keyboard layout is great. There's a reason why it's a standard and it's stuck around for centuries. Keyboards really help you visualize music as well when you're learning. Now, this button right here will switch the instrument to grid mode, which is what we saw when I started playing with drums. Now you'll have access to the same amount of notes, the two octaves based around a C major scale. Like I mentioned earlier, you can see the names of the notes or the letters, and instead of white and black keys, you have lighter and darker pads. There is some getting used to going between the standard keyboard layout and the grid layout, but you can still access the same notes. So here is a C major chord on a standard keyboard. Then finding those same notes on the grid layout, C, E, G, we have a C major chord. It may be a little strange at first, but since this layout forces you to rethink where the notes are, that can also inspire you once you get the hang of it. Okay, that wasn't that inspirational. It sounded maybe like some ice cream truck music, but let me find a different sound and hopefully play something that's more interesting. Although it'll probably be really simple because I believe that's a great place to start. Hold on, there's a lesson there. 
As a beginner or someone who's learning the basics and the fundamentals, I think it's more important to start simple and build confidence than try and aspire to a really technical and advanced concept and then feel bad about it or feel diminished and not want to make music anymore. So start simple, build your confidence, work from there. Future pop staff. Cool. That'll do. Got our C major scale. I'm going to figure out the C minor scale. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. <laughs> Got it. When first starting out, keep it simple. Okay, that's done. Now switching back to the keyboard layout. There it is. Regardless of what instrument you play, it's all about figuring out what works for you and staying inspired. Make sure you're subscribed here for more BandLab tutorials. And if you're curious what I do when I make music, hit the link in the description to check out my channel. Now, you know what to do. Make more music. Peace.